on a window like in this picture is something you have probably seen before. Whether traveling in a car on rainy days, on chilly winter mornings or even placing a bottle of cold water on the table. You'll notice water droplets forming on the outside of the bottle or on the window. This happens because water vapor in the air condenses when it touches a colder surface like the surface of the bottle or the surface of the window in this case, turning back into liquid. Now we've learned that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, which means the liquid water turns into gas, which is water vapor or steam at that temperature. But here is a big question. If that's the case, if water vapor or steam is formed at 100 degrees Celsius, how is there water vapor in the air at room temperature that is 27 degrees Celsius? Let's find out the answer. To understand why there is water vapor in the air even when it's not 100 degrees Celsius, we need to look at a process called evaporation and understand how it is different from boiling. Evaporation is when water molecules escape from the surface of the water and it can happen at any temperature. Remember, evaporation happens at the surface. Molecules escape from the surface and it can happen at any temperature, not just 100 degrees Celsius. And at any temperature, some of these molecules have energy to break from the liquid and become vapor. Let's zoom in on some of the water molecules and see what's happening. The water molecules at the surface, as you see here, gain energy due to various factors. Some terms and conditions of physics and chemistry is behind the escaping of the water molecules from the surface about which you will study in higher classes. But as of now, remember that evaporation happens at the surface and at any temperature. On the other hand, boiling, the molecules escape at the end from the entire body of the water. When water reaches 100 degrees Celsius, that it happens at 100 degrees Celsius, which is called the boiling point, water molecules have no choice but to turn into steam. And remember, it happens at the bulk or the entire body of the water at 100 degrees Celsius. But in evaporation, only a few molecules at the surface escape at a time depending on the conditions. So even though the air isn't at 100 degrees Celsius, evaporation still allows water molecules to turn into vapor at lower temperature, which is why there is water vapor in the air. An important distinction to make here is the difference between water vapor and steam. Steam is typically a technical term for water in gaseous form at 100 degrees Celsius. When water gets converted due to intense heating, that is due to boiling. On the other hand, water vapor refers to water in its gaseous form at any temperature. So we can say water vapor is generated by evaporation and steam is generated by boiling, though technically they are both gaseous form of water. Steam is at 100 degrees Celsius, water vapor is at any temperature. Evaporation is constantly happening all around us, especially over large water bodies. This process plays a significant role in a larger phenomenon called water cycle, about which you will study in detail in higher classes. For now, let us see some everyday examples of evaporation that you may have likely observed. Alright, this is water spilled on road. We have all seen this happen, right? But after some time, the water disappears. What's really going on? It's not boiling. So what happened? Evaporation is at play here. The water which is spilled, over time, the mo water molecules at the surface gain enough energy and they escape into the air as water vapor. Eventually, all the water molecules leave and the road dries up. Here is another familiar example. Drying your hair after bath. Where does the water go? Again, the answer is evaporation. Water molecules from the surface of your hair escapes into the air as vapor. And how about clothes drying in the sun or the wind? 
the process is the same water molecules from the surface of the wet clothes escape into air notice that in all these cases water isn't boiling it's simply evaporating and it happens at any temperature these simple examples illustrate how evaporation is a common and essential process in our daily life so now i think we can answer our question we started in the beginning since water molecules can escape from liquid at any temperature water vapor can indeed present in air without needing to reach 100 degrees celsius and yes of course the terms and conditions apply and when these water molecules hits the cold surface like on the surface of the bottle or the window water vapor condenses to form liquid water and you as you see here and this is a clear evidence of the existence of water in the air in the form of water vapor let's quickly summarize the difference between evaporation and boiling before all of the water molecules get evaporated evaporation is a surface phenomenon whereas boiling is a bulk phenomenon it's a surface phenomenon because it happens at the surface and boiling happens at the entire body of the water another key difference is that evaporation can happen at any temperature whereas boiling happens at 100 degrees celsius known as its boiling point now water vapor is gaseous form of water the technical term for gaseous form of water at any temperature and steam is the technical term for gaseous form of water at 100 degrees celsius